Hello and welcome back in part 4 of how to create a responsive e-commerce website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In our previous part, we have created this beautiful blog page and then we have also added some post inside this page. And after creating this blog page, we have made this page responsive for different screen size devices using CSS media queries. And in our part 4, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful about us page using HTML and CSS. And inside this page, we are going to learn how to create a sliding text using only one line of HTML code. And then we will also learn how to add a video in your HTML website. And after creating this complete website, we are going to make this website responsive for different screen size devices using CSS media queries. And in a few moments, we are going to create this page. But before we get started, if you guys didn't watch our part 1, part 2 and part 3, link will be given in the description. Please guys, check out those parts also. And if you guys are enjoying this course, then please, please subscribe. Like this video and press the bell icon for the future videos. And if you guys have any question about this video, please let me know in my comment section. That's it guys, let's get started. Now for creating our about us page, we have to create a new HTML file. So for creating our new HTML file, just go to the folder and then create a new file. Then we have to add a name and the name will be about .html. That's it. And inside this about.html file, I'm going to go to our block file and copy all of this code and then paste it here. That's it. And then close our block.html file. Now let's go to the top. And from here, first we have to collapse the sections. That's it. And inside our about us page, we are going to need the header. And then we are going to need the page header, but I don't want the blog and the pagination and the newsletter. That's it. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that now we are in our blog.html file. Now I will simply change the URL and it will be about .html. Now type enter and here you can see that this is our about us page. And here you can see that the URL is now about.html file. It means we are now in our about.html file. And inside this about page, we have our navbar, our header, and then our footer. Now after creating a file for our about us page, in our nav section, here you can see that the block link is highlighted. But our about link should be highlighted. So for fixing this problem, let's go to our code, open our header section, and here you can see that we have a class name which is active in our blog.html. Now we just have to remove the class name active from our blog.html file and then we have to add the class name in our about.html file. Now save and go to our website and here you can see that our about link is now highlighted and it indicates that we are now in our about us page. Okay, so in our about us page, if I go to my website, here you can see that we have a different heading, we have a text, and then we have a different background image. So now we have to add this text and image in our this website also. So for doing this, let's go to our code, close our header, and then open our page header. And from here, we have to change the heading, and the text will be this one. That's it. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that we have our heading and our text. Now we have to change the background image. So for changing the background image, in our section here you can see that we have an ID and then we have a class name. Now I will simply change the class name and instead of blog header, it will be about header. Now save and then go to our style sheet. And here you can see that we have a about page comment. And underneath of this comment, we just have to copy the class name and then paste it here. And before our class name, we have to also indicate the ID, which is page header before our class name. That's it. And inside our this class name, I will simply add a different background image. So call our URL and I have an image folder 
and inside this image folder I have a about folder then I have a banner.png now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have now successfully changed the background image of our header so after this one now we have to create our this section in the left section we have an image and in the right section we have some text so for creating the section let's go to our about.html file collapse our section then create a new section then we have to add an id and the id name will be about head that's it then we have to also add a class name which is section p1 and if you remember in our part 1 of this tutorial we have created some global classes so that we can add these classes in our future code so that's why i will simply copy this class name and then paste it here so after this one here you can see that we have two section one is our image and one is our text so first i will add the image and i have a image folder then i have a about folder and inside this about folder i have a a6.jpg so after this image let's create a div tag then we have to create a s2 for our this heading so copy the heading and then paste it here and then create a paragraph for our this paragraph that's it after this one if i go to my website here you can see that we have a dotted underline of this text so for creating this as styling let's go to our code and the underneath of our paragraph we have to add a bbr tag and the title will be empty but inside our this tag we have to simply copy this text and then paste it here so after this one i will add a break tag because i want to add some spacing like this one so that's why let's create a break tag and then i will add another break tag that's it and if i go to my website here you can see that we have a sliding text so we are going to create this sliding text using just one html tag and the tag name is m a r q w -E, mark -E. and inside our this tag if i go to my website just copy this complete text and then paste it here and now here you can see that we have some properties inside this tag now i will simply delete these properties and i will add some new properties so first i will add a background color so that's why just add bg color and then we have to add a background color like this one this gray color so for adding the color just add this hex color code and then we have to add a loop and this one will be minus one then we have to add a scroll amount and it will be five then we have to add a width of 100 percent that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our image then we have our heading our text and our dotted underline then we have a sliding text so after this one now we have to first fix the image this image is taking too much width and height of the screen so we have to add a custom width and height for our this image and then we will set some width and height for our this section also so for doing this let's go to our code then copy our this about head and then go to our style sheet then paste it here then target our image first i will add a width of 50 percent then the height will be auto now save and go to our website and here you can see that our image is now taking 50% of width so after this one now i want this section and our this section to be in one row but they are now in one column so for changing the aligning just copy the id then paste it here use display flex then align items center now save and go to our website and here you can see that they are now in one row so after this one now i want to add some space in the left side of our this text section so for doing this just copy the id then paste it here and inside our about.html we have a div tag so we have to target this div tag then we have to add some padding left of 40 pixel now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have a space of 40 pixel in the left side 
So guys here you can see that we have successfully created our this section and if I go to my website and here you can see that inside our marquee tag we have added some custom properties. If you guys want you can actually play around with these values just change the values and see what happens. Okay so after this section if I go to my website here you can see that we have our video section first we have to add a heading and then we have to add this video. So for creating this section, let's go to our about.html file and then close our this section, then create a new section. Then we have to add an ID and the ID will be about app. Then we have to add a class name and the class will be section padding. So copy this class name and then paste it here. And inside this section, first we have to create our this heading. So copy the heading, then create a h1, then paste the heading. And if I go to my website, here you can see that our app is actually a link. So for creating the app link, just go to our website. And here before our app, we have to create an anchor tag. And for now, the address will be hash. And inside our anchor tag, it will be app. That's it. Just remove this app. That's it. So after our app, just create a div tag for our video. And the class name will be video. Then we have to create a video tag. And this video is inside my image folder. Then I have a about folder. And inside my about folder, we have a one.mp4. That's it. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that we have our heading and our this video. Okay, so after this one, now I want this text to be in the center. And I want this video to take a custom width and height. So for doing this, just copy the ID from here, then go to our style sheet, then paste it here, then use text align center. Now save and go to our website and here you can see that this text is now in the center. And after this one, now we have to fix the video. So that's why copy the ID, then paste it here, then add the video class name. And now I want to add a custom width and height. So the width will be 70% of the screen and the height will be 100%. Then I want to add some margin from the top. So that's why margin top will be 30 pixel. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that our video is not taking the styling. So now we have to target our actual video tag. That's why just copy the ID and the class name and then paste it here then target our video tag and here we have to add the width of 100% then the height of 100% then the border radius I want to add a border radius of 20 pixel now save and go to our website and here you can see that our video is now taking the 70% of width and 100% of height so after this one now I want this video to place in the center of our screen so for doing this, here you can see that we have added some margin top. So I will simply change this property. It will be only margin. And the margin from top, it will be 30 pixel. From left, it will be auto. From bottom, zero. And from right, it will be auto. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that our video is now in the center of our screen. And here you can see that our video is not actually playing. If I go to my website, here you can see that our video is playing automatically. So for making this video working, just go to our about.html and inside our video tag, we have to add some properties. First, I want our this video to play automatically. So that's why it will be auto play. Then I don't want this video to make any sound. So that's why it will be muted. Then I want this video to play continuously. So that's why we have to use loop. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that our video is now playing and we don't have any sound from this video. Also this video will play continuously. Okay, so after creating the video, now we have to create our this feature section. And we have already created a feature section in our home page. This one. So what we have to do, we just have to go to our index file. 
and here you can see that we have a feature section now simply copy the feature section go to our about.html and then paste it here that's it now let's go to our website and here you can see that after our video we have our feature section and after our this feature section we have to create our this sign up newsletter section so for doing this just go to our index file and here you can see that we have a newsletter section just copy this newsletter section and then go to our about close our this section and then paste the newsletter section now save and go to our website And here you can see that after our feature section we have a newsletter section and hey guys here you can see that we have successfully created our about us page using html and css now it is time to make this page responsive for different screen size devices using css media query so just inspect the website and here you can see that now we are in our medium screen device and in our this medium screen device our this page is looking good and I don't think so we have to make any changes for our this media queries. Okay, now let's go to our small screen device. And in our small screen device, this section is still in one row. But I want this section to be in one column for our small screen devices. So for make the changes, let's go to our code. First, let's close our index.html and then go to our style sheet. And if I scroll down, here you can see that we have our media query 477 and this media query is for our small screen device. And inside our this media query, let's add a comment first and it will be about page. That's it. Now if I go to my website and if I select our this section, here you can see that this ID is having display flex and align item center. So we have to make some changes in our display flex. And in our display flex, now I want to change the aligning and it will be flex direction column. And from here, I don't want to change the display flex and the align items. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that they are now in one column. But in this screen, this image is not having the full space. So just simply select the image. And here you can see that we have a width of 50%. Now I will simply change this one. So that's why copy the rule. Then paste it here. And the width will be 100%. Then remove the height. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that our this image is now taking perfect width and height for our this screen. After this one, I want to add some spacing underneath of this image. So that's why just add some margin bottom of 20 pixel. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that we have now a space of 20 pixel. After this one, if I select our this section, here you can see that this section is having some space from the left side. So I will simply remove the padding left. So that's why copy the rule and then paste it here and the padding left will be 0 pixel. Now save and go to our website and here you can see that our this section is now taking perfect width and height. Ok, so after this one here you can see that we have our video section and inside our video section this video is now taking the full width of the screen. So I will also select the video and here you can see that we have a video div so select the video div and here you can see that we have a width of 70%. Now I will simply copy the rule and then paste it here. And the width will be 100%. Then I will simply remove the height and margin. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that our video is now taking the full width and height of our screen. And here you can see that other section is looking good in our small screen device. And guys, here you can see that we have successfully created our page for a small screen device and for our medium screen device and for our large screen device. 
And in this part, we have learned how to create an about us page using HTML and CSS and how to make the page responsive for different screen size devices using CSS media queries. And in our next part, we are going to create our this beautiful contact us page with a beautiful header with some details with a Google map. Then we will create a beautiful contact us form, then our member list. And then after creating this page, we are going to make this page responsive using CSS media queries. So that's it guys for this part. And I hope you guys are enjoying this course. And if you guys really do, then please please subscribe, like this video and press the bell icon for the future videos. And if you guys have any question about this video, please let me know in my comment section. And guys, don't forget to check out our previous parts also. That's it guys. Let's see you in our next part.